Hey everybody, today I am going to be unboxing and doing a review on the Ninja Mega Kitchen System 1500. And so, right off the bat, it shows you the quick assembly for the Nutri Ninja cups, the blender pitcher, and the food processor bowl. And then it even goes as far as simple directions for the blender pitcher, food processor bowl, the Nutria Ninja cups, and then it even has cleaning on here. So that's nifty that you can get all that right off the bat without fully opening the box. And once you do open the box, you have your inspiration guide that is right on the top along with your important safety instructions. So, and then it's just a matter of taking everything out. Obviously here's that piece. And we got a couple different lids it looks like. Maybe. So there's this lid as well for the... So this obviously is going to be the whole entire set. So if you don't want to mess around with just getting a Nutri Ninja, you can obviously pick up this guy and it has everything in it. So that's nice. If you're looking for a blender and everything, this is gonna have it all. So that's pretty, pretty neat. As you can see, there's the auger and the actual blender itself. And then you have your two different sized cups. This one is not gonna tell me how big that one is, but you have that cup. And honestly, from the looks of it, they're both exactly the same size. So there's not going to be a difference in cup sizes that you get. But this one, as you can see, has the blender attachment. So... Mommy, you need the slippers. Oh, you need your slippers? Okay. Apparently my little daughter needs to put her slippers on. So after you get those out... There's one more good piece of cardboard in there. Because now we're getting to the meat of it all. You have your food processing bowl. Obviously this is going to be a lot better once I get this box out of the way, but... There's that. And then your base, because obviously you're going to need a base to maneuver all this stuff. Of course, if I can get it out, that would help. Okay. going to take care of all that. <clears throat> so like I said, there's your base. You get your food processing bowl and then your regular blender. And then if you just want to go the smoothie route or something smaller, you have your little cups. And again, these are just going to fit directly on here and just lock into place and then you'll be ready to go. So I will see what I can come up with. Let me get everything all cleaned up and See if I can't show you how this works. All right, so just to start off the video, we're gonna do just a single serve cup today. And I apologize for the loud background noise. My father-in-law cannot hear the TV, so you're just gonna have to bear with the noise in the background. So according to this on the, in the important safety instructions manual, you'll see using the Nutri Ninja cup, 
and it tells you exactly how to like fit it on the base and everything like that sorry and so basically you're gonna fill your cup with the ingredients first and then we're gonna attach it and push the right button and blend up some something delicious so let me get the cup filled all right so as you can see I have all kinds of deliciousness in my cup here so I'm gonna just screw on the lid and I already have it plugged in so I just have to attach it to the blender here and there's little notches that you can see that you attach it to and you heard the little click here and you're gonna turn the power on and then we it already senses that you're doing this single serve so you can see that right there so we're just gonna push that And the only thing with this is you actually have to hold the button down. And you just let it blend to your desired consistency. That looks pretty good to me. I did go ahead and turn the power button off before I unscrew it just you know so you don't injure yourself and let me just have a little taste here all right let's set this in the sink quick just so I can rinse that off and that is a pretty delicious smoothie using the single serve cup that comes with your ninja professional blender. All right, so now I'm going to be using the bigger blender just to show you how it works. And you are going to set it on and have it click into place. There's two different ways that you can do it, either left or right, but you heard it click into place. And then you add the blade in here and you just kind of set it in there like so and it has a little bit of wiggle room and next with anything you just add in your ingredients that you want to blend up so I'm gonna do that really quick all right so as you see my blender is nice and full here and it's ready to have the lid put on and everything so this one's pretty easy you just line up the arrows right here with the lid and because you'll see the arrow on the lid and then the arrow right here on the handle and so you just put that in place and then you're sorry it's not I should have raised that up a little bit better so this is kind of what it looks like here to release and unlock the lid you just do it like that and so to put it on you just match up the arrows and then the handle will just lock back into place and then you're all set and ready to blend and so I already have it plugged in I'm just gonna push the power button here and we're gonna hit number two here to blend And then when it's blended to your desired consistency, all you have to do is push the number two button again and it'll automatically turn off. And since I'm done doing that, I'm gonna turn off the power so I can unhook everything and give it a taste. So all in all, if I were to recommend any product, I would definitely recommend <laughs> the Ninja Mega Kitchen system to anybody who loves to cook 
or like smoothies because I mean the possibilities are endless with this and it's basically everything you need all in one unit so I would definitely keep this in my house so I totally think it's worth the purchase and this inspiration guide is full of all kinds of different unique recipes you can even make dips and I mean like I said the sky is the limit really with all this so I would definitely keep it